If you're getting ready for state testing, you probably want to verify that your Chromebooks are running the version of Chrome that your test app requires. Let's take a look at how to force your Chromebooks to update to a specified version. Hi, my name is John Sawash. Welcome back to the Google Admin Bootcamp. The first thing we're going to do is run a report to see which version of Chrome OS our Chromebook fleet is currently running. From the admin console, I'm going to head over to the device section and then scroll down to reports and then select versions. This will give me a list of all of my Chromebooks and what versions they're running. You'll want to verify from your test provider what the minimum version that they support. Typically right now in 2023, it's right around like 106 is typically what they require. We can see that I've got uh, a lot of um, devices on version 110, over a thousand, um, and I can scroll down and see more and more. I'm not too bad, but I've got some here, 103, 32 that I'd love to update. So I want to force everything below a certain version, let's say 108, to update to the current version of Chrome. All right, now we need to look at and adjust our Chrome OS update settings. So I've moved to a new section of the admin console. You need to head over to Devices, Chrome, Settings, and then we're going to be looking at the Device Settings tab first. Now this is a long section, so normally I'll just do Control F and search for Update. That'll take me to the section that we need to look at. All right, let's make some changes. The first thing you need to remember is that these are device settings. So make sure that you have selected a device organizational unit. Hopefully you're able to isolate the devices that are not updating. Perhaps they're in a particular OU or in a cart. So select that OU and let's review some settings. <laughs> now first, obvious, you just need to make sure that updates are allowed. If this is turned off, then that's why your devices aren't updating. Um, below that, you'll see target version. This used to be pin, and it is very easy to you know pin an organization unit to a particular version, and then you forget about it, and that's also why your devices aren't updating. So uh, you know, make sure that you're pinning at minimum to your lowest supported OS version, or if it's not a big deal, just use latest available version. That'll allow them to update. Uh, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and there's a new section here that allows you to force updates. So right here it says enforce updates. Um, and so we can select, again, our minimum required version. Now, a lot of times what happens is that your devices are downloading the version of Chrome OS they need to, but unless your students actually restart their Chromebook, that device update isn't applied. And so we can go ahead and select um, you know, a version here, let's just say 107, and say you must update to 107 at minimum. Um, and then you can specify if you want to give them you know, a week, a month uh, warning. Um, they'll get a little notification that prompts them. They can't close it. says you got to update, you got to update. Now, this is disruptive, but if you say no warning and someone is using a device that's on something older than 107, then it'll just stop working. It'll have a, a white screen that just says you must update and there's no other option. It has to be done. Now that's not probably going to get you all the way. Depends on the situation, but that'll get you to 107 at least. Um, and from there, it can update again, or a lot of times they're just, again, the current version is there, it just needs to be restarted. Now, a couple other things you can do to encourage your devices to update more regularly, I would definitely go up here to auto reboot and allow that. This simply means that if there is an update that is pending, when a user signs out, it will do a full power cycle, allowing that update to be applied. Uh, and that's great. But again, you still have the issue where students are just using the device, especially if you're one-to-one, -one, they never log out, they never restart, and it can become an issue. There is one other option. This is kind of the nuclear option that you can use if you're in a pinch and you absolutely have to have your devices update immediately. I'm going to move to a different section of the console. I'm going to head over to our user and browser settings. And I'm going to search for the word idle. 
there is a section in our user and browser settings that allows us to configure when devices go to sleep and require a restart. So this is where we can define what happens when a Chromebook goes to sleep, when the lid is closed, etc. Now, these are user settings. We were working on device settings, so you need to move to a user OU. So I'm going to go to my student OU. If you apply these to device OUs, it won't do anything. And we can define what happens when the lid is closed. So right here, action on lid closed, I'm gonna say log out. Now this is a very disruptive setting. You wanna make sure that you give your teachers warning because at the end of a class period, everybody closes their Chromebook to you know go to the next class. It's gonna log them out. And that's gonna be very surprising to the students and teachers and, and everybody. Um, I only recommend this in critical situations where you have to update for pending tests uh, very quickly. Um, and then, you know, I'd let that sit there for an hour or so, and then immediately take it back. Because every single time someone closes the lid of their Chromebook, it's going to log them out. Now, the good news is with the auto reboot enabled, the logout will force the devices to do a power cycle and those new fresh updates will be applied. So it'll update your fleet very quickly, but it will definitely slow down the learning process. So don't leave that in there uh, long term. Well, hopefully your Chromebook fleet will be up to date and ready for state testing after some of these changes. If you're interested in more Google admin tips like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and you can join me for the Google admin bootcamp, my comprehensive guide for using the admin console to manage your users, devices, and security settings.